Today I'm working on my 1992 Corvette. I'm going to be changing the seat, the seat covers out. I ordered them a few weeks ago. Um, these were the original seats and they were tore. And I had done a lot of work to try to get them put back together. But as you can see right here, the stitching is, is coming apart and up here. And I've had to patch all along the seat here. Um, and this was originally the the driver seat, and I switched it over to take get the load off of the off the bolsters on the outside. But finally, um, actually as an anniversary present, um, Jennifer got me these new seats, and we had them custom ordered to match the steering wheel um, that I put in, which is um, the black leather with the red stitching. So um, I wanted to just go show you how you go ahead and pull these out, so it's not as a uh, as intimidating as you think it is, it's actually pretty easy to do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the passenger seat out, and at that point we'll go inside. We'll take these out and go inside, and we'll uh, I'll show you how to take it all apart, put the new covers on, and uh, then go ahead and be able to put them back together. But they're very simple to do. So first thing you want to do is on the bottom. There's a little handle. There's a little, and it's going to be too hard to fee it, see it. Um, let me see. I'm going to try to bring the camera around here. And you're going to be able to hopefully see it here. There's a little little lever right here. And this little guy right here has to be pushed down and out of the way so you can lift this seat cushion up and out. So this little guy right here just drops down, and it goes like so. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. Like so, and then this will just lift up, and it comes out. So you can see right there that that it's uh, it just comes out of there like so. And there's this little lever that I was talking about. So that's you can see right here. So that's all there is to that. So on the back side of the seat, normally there's two two latches. Um, this one actually had one torn, and I wasn't going to fix it until we uh, until I redid the seats. But they have a they have a little metal clip here in the back. If you can see that right there. This one had already come loose, but if you can see that little clip, there's one, normally one right here glued also. And so these little guys, they just hook. You can see it's here. It's still hooked on. So when we go to this, I'll just glue this back in with some with some silicone. So the, just the wire snaps onto here like so, and I'll have to use probably use some pliers or something. There we go. So that's that is normally mounted right here, and that would is all holds the back of the seat in. And then you have the same exact thing down here in the in the back too. And you can see that one actually actually was loose already, but this one here. It just slides out and over, and then you can see where they hook on. Right here, there's your mounting points right there. So, literally, that's how, what it takes. That's what your seat looks like when there's nothing in there. And um, it's actually much easier on these than it is on the C5 or the C6. Um, so, and I have no idea how they come apart on the C7, so hopefully, I never have to find that out. <laughs> But anyway, um, so we're going to go ahead and stop the video now. I'm going to go ahead and get this set up inside the house so I'm not outside. And um, we'll take this, these covers off and um, put the new ones on. And then um, you'll get to see how that's done. All right, we'll see you then. Okay, I just wanted to give you a little side-by-side -side comparison here of what the, the old cushion looked like before we put it, we take and pull the... Uh, all the foam out from underneath it. And then this is the new cover here. And again, this was something that we I found on eBay. There's a custom it's a, a custom shop that's in uh, Houston. I believe it's in Houston, Texas. And they took them about uh, about 3 3 4 weeks um, to get it ordered and another week to ship them. 
So um, very, you know, very custom. They they'll do any of the coloring that you want to do, all the different types of stitchings, um, and all of the different emblems. So as you can see here, it's got got the custom red stitching to match the steering wheel that I put in. So we've got them here on the table, and as you can see right here, it the seats are put together with hog rings. So um, you can see from a previous repair that I had done on this side over here is that it has, let me see if I can make this so it's a little bit easier to see, um, where I had to pull this apart before, I just cut the hog rings out, twisted them out, and then went ahead and when I put it all back together, I put it back with wire ties. And that's what I'm going to do with the whole thing this time around, is I'm going to take this completely loose, and then we're going to go ahead and um, put the seat back together with the with the wire ties instead. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm just pulling these hog rings loose and going to take have to take each one of them out of the seat which will take a little bit of time so you know it's just something that it's not hard it just takes a little bit of time to do um, and then uh, just reverse the process putting the other ones back on except I'm going to use wire ties in itself in, in, in place of the metal hog rings. So we'll, I'm not going to bore you with all of this wonderful, uh, wonderful fight of getting these out of here. But we'll go ahead and we'll um, we'll resume once I get get them loose, and then we can move on. I'll show you show you the next step. What I've got here so far is we've got all the sides peeled loose on the back and at the top, but we've also got some stuff that where the the liner is been sucked up into this, uh, into the foam to be able to make it so it has that little pillow effect right here. So with that being done, they put some special hooks into the fabric here that sucks it up through the foam. And so in order to get that to, to, to do that, the, um, let me see, I think I actually flipped it down here. There's there's some foam or some a couple metal hooks that go right through and this slides through those hooks and you don't want to cut it you just want to just want to take it and you see there's another one here on the bottom side so what you do is you just basically push down until it goes through the hook which um, it's kind of hard to see that let me see if I can maybe I can show you here okay. so if you're seeing what I'm seeing here, you can see that there's a hook here, and there's this this rod, just like the other one that I showed you. And and all we're going to do is we're just going to push down. I have to use both hands to do this, but just going to push down, and we're going to slide that rod completely right out this side over here, like so. Okay, so we're going to try to push this little guy through. Let's see if we can muster our way through there. So that's one. And then there's another one here in the middle. I'm going to pull it all the way through. And then we've got one last one here on this side. This little guy is going to be a little bit harder to deal with. There we go. So as you can see right here, it just came right out. Okay. Now what that will do is it will allow for this cushion to completely come out of the fabric or out of the, the cushion itself, out of the foam. Okay. And then we're going to find that, that that's going to be the case on some other spots along the way. So there's other hooks in here that's keeping this seam right here up against the frame or the wire frame. So um, I'm just going to repeat the process of what I did here along the way so we can pull this off and then we'll have to take those hooks that are part of this cover, take them off, transfer them over to the other cover, and then push them back through the foam, and then re-anchor them.
So after a little bit of time, uh, it's probably about 10 minutes has taken place since the last time that we shut the video off, um, and I was able to go around, it's basically just around this wire frame, and take out all the hog rings that are there, all these little guys here. So we've got that, and we were able to just take this, take this cover off, it's like so. And all we're going to do is we're just going to reapply, um, you know, here's the, here's the cushion. And you could have bought new cushions. I could have done it on the, on some of it. It probably wouldn't have hurt, but um, there's really not a lot to them anyhow. So um, and these seem to be in pretty good shape as far as uh, the cushion. It tore a little bit in, in the edges, but it, you know any of the foam would have just done that again anyhow. If I would have put it, would have put new in, it would have ended up tearing anyhow. So I'm just uh, going to go ahead and reverse this. We're going to put it on, and then we'll pull the, the little hooks through, put these little guys back in place, and we'll be good, good to go. Okay, one other thing that I forgot to show you guys was that once you get the cover off, you've got to pull, there's, remember I showed you these rods here? Well, they've got them on the inside edge also. So there's, there's one here, here, and here that you've got to take this, these hooks off get these slide, slid into the fabric of, of the new cover so this way you can pull these things through to the other side so that's otherwise you're not going to get a nice tight fit okay, so I wanted to show you another thing here as we're going through and we're putting this together um, these two hooks at the top that came out of this seat here they use a special they were using regular hog rings in the, on the first one here but on this upper one, they were utilizing a different type of hog ring that's a little more uh, almost like paper clippish. Um, that allows it to go, I guess, through the hole, um, through, the, through the actual uh, cushion. So I just wanted to point that out, show you that how this goes in there. You're just really just sliding this in and getting it the other, you know, the other cushion or, or cover was, you know, completely wore out, so um, it was, and it already bent and everything, so it was like that was pretty much centered. So here you're just wanting to center that rod inside here like so, and then we're just going to put that hook, just going to put them right back up in the same place as we took them out. And then at that point we can just put the hog rings back in here and then hook it through um, on the back side of the, uh, on the phone. Okay, so before I go and I put the cover back on, I just wanted to show you what I did. I transferred those, the little lines, the little wires like I was talking about here, like these little guys, and I transferred them into here, and into here, and into here. And I know I told you that I was going to use uh, wire ties, uh, or zip ties, to be able to put this all together, and I do plan on doing that all the way around the edges. But as far as doing this, I wanted to make sure that this was not going to come loose, and it wasn't going to have to do this all over again. So I went ahead and I re-straightened out all of the hog rings that locks those little guys into place. So I can go ahead and push those through the foam, and then at that point I can run those, those wires back through, and that will lock it into the foam. Once that's done, then it's just a matter of going through all around the edges and tying these edges onto this frame all the way around. And so um, we'll come back uh, once I've got to the point where I've got the, the cover on and we'll show you the end result. Okay, so I ran into a little bit of a problem when I was trying to put these little guys, these wire hooks back up through the foam, there's only a small channel right there that you can work from and it's very very tight in there so what I figured out how to do was is to go ahead and take a a zip tie and actually I'm using, showing you a smaller one but took a zip tie and hooked it through the ring I don't know if you can see that or not it's kind of dark in there but I hooked it through the hog ring and then looped them all through so you can see that they all came up through here like this now at this point what I can do is I'll be able to pull these up one at a time and then transfer the hook through them to lock them in place. And then also once I get these done then I'll be able to do that over here on this one here and then we'll be good to go. But 
I just wanted to show you that, that instead of beating yourself up, this is the way that you'll be able to get it without having to fight it. Okay, so this is the end result here as far as getting them pulled through. So all he did was hook these on, pull them through, we slid the metal rods across, just like so. And that's getting it so that the seat is actually nice and taut in the inside these edges here, like this. Now the inside edge doesn't have those ribs. So to be able to get this nice and tucked into its crack, we're going to have to poke a few holes in here, right along this edge on this fabric here. And that way we can pull the wire tie down through there and then hook it onto the rail on the back. So the wire ties will actually come right through here and through here and the same thing over down here. And then at that point, we'll just put the outer edges together with the with the zip ties. So, as you can see, it's coming along. It's taking a little bit of time. Uh, about 10 minutes had elapsed, maybe 15 minutes had elapsed between the two videos. So, um, I've probably got another 10, 15 minutes before we're actually totally ready to button it up. But um, looking pretty good so far. Okay. Well, my GoPro died, so um, basically I had to start over with my camera for right now with my with my phone anyway this is the the way it looks after it's finished and it's all tucked in you can see that I got all the got all the metal hooked on the rods are gone through and I've cut all the excess wire ties off and I've wire tied all of the all of the fabric on inside of the inside of the grooves all the way around so I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and you'll be able to see that it's all now nicely tucked in here and here. So the next step is to go ahead and flip this back over and we're just gonna we're gonna start hooking this onto the fab in on this fabric here onto the metal rail and it'll just tighten everything up. And once that's done, then this seat's ready to go back in the car. So I'll uh, come back to you after we get the uh, the finished product done. I finally got everything all buttoned up uh, between the last video and this one uh, about 20-25 minutes it takes a lot quite a bit of time to be able to get all these tucked in right and and uh, all of the little uh, zip ties uh, tucked in and um, and push through the foam in the right spots but it, I think it came out pretty good um, see right here this is this is the finished product here, and um, I think it came out pretty nice. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and set this in the car and see if it fits and make sure that it works and looks all right. Okay, well, here's the seats, the, at least the backs. I was able to finish the backs tonight. It's getting a little too late. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold off So I, on the bottom, so I just put the bottom ones back in. Um, but you can see the, bat, the, the backs themselves look pretty darn good. Um, so we're going to have, you know, some of, like I said, those little wrinkles um, in the in the uh, seats. And those will go away with, the, you know, with some sun hitting them. Um, these, these things were just folded up really tight in the package when I got them. So um, anyway, so far it's looking really, really nice. And we will finish this video probably tomorrow night when I get get done, uh, when I get home from work. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.